So, Gypsy on the spot. It appears David Meehan's office has gone into lockdown thanks to Velvet Underground. Okay, honey not vinegar guys, works every time. You've upset the status quo, but I've managed to serve paperwork on the office. <coughs> and let's remember people, it is just an office. You do not have to, uh, you know, get proof of service that they've served it or anything like that. You just go and uh, do your thing and walk away and here are the police right now. But yeah, something's going on. Must be a bank robbery or something in effect. G'day guys. I had a security incident here this morning. <laughs> Ooh, this could be interesting. Okay, guys, I heard there was a bit of excitement here this morning. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. I slipped a piece of paper under the door. Yeah, I got proof of service now, so that's all I need. No, I'll, no worries. You guys have a great day, eh? Take care. Try not to tread on the letter, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, is there any chance I could get you just to put that on the counter so it doesn't get trod on? It's been served on the office anyway. We no, both know what that no, means, buddy. Oh, I got to get here afterwards, apparently. Velvet Underground, we're here. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's just some some uh, you know, citizen rights crew on, on the internet. Oh, okay. Are you with them, are you? No. Oh, okay. No, I'm oh, not with okay. anyone. I came down here for something else. <laughs> oh, to serve a bit of paperwork? Yeah, just serve a bit of paperwork. What's that in relation to? Oh, you'd have to ask the officer who wrote it. Okay. Have you had words with them? Never. No, I just saw them this morning. They came out this morning. Uh, they, you know, there was a guy outside. I, I went to go in. The door was locked. I went, okay. So I sort of stood outside and got talking to a bloke outside who needed, uh, you know, some identity or something verified. Okay. Yeah. You know, and, you know, when she came out to serve him, I just said, oh, can I just get you guys to take this bit of paper inside? You know, I you know, just need a, a receive stamp and that's about it. And she goes, yep. And she walked inside and that was the last of I heard of her, so I waited outside for about five minutes talking to the bloke, slipped the, you know, got him to witness the piece of paper, slipped it under the door, and I was just on my merry way back, you know. Honey, not vinegar with me, buddy. Are you a local layer? Ah, uh, no. Oh, uh, okay. What brings it along, Jay? Ah, just... friend, friends. Ah, good. Yeah, just friends. Good day, mate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Your lockdown's yeah. over, you know, people are relaxing and breathing a bit. Yeah. Oh, it is, man. It's a lovely spot. You know, it actually reminds me of you know, Bowen and Byron back in the 80s and 90s. Yeah, somewhat. Yeah, yeah, it's starting to green up here. It's not what I remember. Yeah. yeah. But thank you, buddy. You have a That's wonderful right. day. Yeah, my name is Constable Tom. I'm, I'm Gypsy. Police. Oh, yeah. Pleasure. Gypsy? Gypsy, uh, yeah. Uh, is that on a bit of paper, is it? Yeah, it's on a bit of paper, mate. Uh, the letter's addressed to me. You know, and uh, you know, all it is is, like I said, I'm not serving it to, to take, take action on anyone. You know, I'm just informing him, and then I'm walking away. What anyone does from that point onwards up to them. Oh, Anything else I can do for today, sir? No, that's it. You know, oh, you've, you've, you, you know, proof of service. You know, it doesn't get more, you know, yeah, more stand up than a than a police officer. Well, if there's any dramas, you know where we are. Thank you very much, sir. You have a wonderful day. That was awesome.